Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I know I've been a bit absent lately, but I had a good reason. We just got back two days ago from Japan, specifically Osaka and Hakuba, which was amazing. It was the most best trip. Excuse the voice and the face. I am sick with the virus. I got it a couple of days before we went away and had it throughout the whole trip which kind of sucked but it was still an awesome trip nonetheless so if i'm coughing i'm sorry <coughs> like right now so yes it was an amazing trip if you follow me on social media like instagram you would already know that i got engaged as well on this trip which was amazing and it just made the trip even more special i wish i had my ring to show you but it's too big and i just dropped it in to get resized today so i'm not going to get it back until next weekend but it is beautiful it's amazing i had the time of my life anyway japan vlogs will be going up very shortly i thought i'd post this video first and then you will see the japan vlogs and you'll see all that footage so stay tuned to those anyway let's get to it i have a lot to show you if you haven't already noticed by the title of this video this is a massive japan haul i did a little bit of retail therapy this trip i don't know how i fit it in because we're only there for six days and looking at this little pile on the bed i did get a few few things so i'm going to try and power through it so we aren't here for like half an hour plus i've got the babies napping so i don't have a lot of time to play with so let's just jump. To okay, so the first item I got was this t-shirt. This is from Uniqlo. I think they did a collaboration with Mambo, which kind of brings back some memories. Mambo was really huge when I was a kid, the brand. So I got this t-shirt, which is really nice, really comfy. And if you know me, I live in t-shirts and denim shorts. So they're my jam. They're my life. So, <coughs> oh my God, sorry. You're going to hear a lot of that. Anyway, let's just jump to it. This, I'm sorry, this is not categorized. Also, a lot of it was presents for the kids, which I've then had to run around the house and collect. So some things have opened, I've forgotten things. Bear with me. Okay, so first of all, next to me, I have some plushies from the Pokemon Center. We are massive Pokemon fans in our family. So Lucy Lou got this like really cute Pikachu, which is laying down. She was super excited. That was her one request for when we went away. We didn't take the kids with us. Um, it was that we brought her back a Pikachu. So she got a Pikachu. Um, Luke got this Bulbasaur. His favorite Pokemon is Bulbasaur. And we have really trouble finding Bulbasaur plushies. And this was at the very last Pokemon stop at the airport. And he managed to find one. So, yep, this is his little special Bulbasaur. Okay, just jumping in randomly and grabbing things. We got this Goku figurine. I think this is Goku Black. Bear with me. I'm not a Dragon Ball Z fan. This is Jackson's. All he wanted was this figure and figures in Japan are tremendously cheaper than they are in Australia. I think this is around like $90, 60 to $90 figurine in Australia and we got it for $25. So bargain. Anyway, this is little, that's Goku Black. Goku with pink hair. He loves it. So he's out of the box. So there you go. Sticking with figures, I got myself this little Goku. I'm not a dragon, I'm not into Dragon Ball Z really badly, but for some reason this little vintage little young Goku just took my fancy. Um, he was about $30 and I don't know, I just thought he was super cute and he's going to look nice on my desk and he's a nice little memento of our trip. I don't know, he just gravitated towards me and I needed to have him. Okay, okay. Just grabbing stuff and grabbing stuff. Okay, in clothes wise, I didn't buy that much clothes. Just, I don't know, we didn't go into that many clothes shopping. So I just went to Uniqlo and I got a skirt from WeGo. So I got the shirt from Uniqlo. I also got this one, same thing, the Mambo collaboration. So it's white with that on it. It's got some crap on it. <coughs> so I got that one. I got this skirt from WeGo. So just a really cute kind of A-line tartan skirt that will just go with all of my t-shirts. I also got this one, which is another memo collaboration. It's got a little banana and it has some writing on the sleeve, I think. There we go. I also did get a black shirt that has BB-8 on the pocket. Don't know where it's gone. I'm pretty sure it's like in the wash, but I don't know where it is. Okay, moving forward because we're going to be here all day. Um, the kids also requested a drink bottle. I got a really cool drink bottle from Disneyland last Japan trip and the kids love it. It's like a thermostat one. So if you put 
cold water or anything hot in it it stays cold for like eight hours or stays hot for eight hours they love it so i got them their own jackson got this kumum stainless mug it's got that character on it. it's black he's got it at school so i've only got the box to show you but it's a black mug with that little like bear character on it so you got that one and lucy got this hello kitty one it's got water in it at the moment because she's using it so she got this really cute hello kitty one and the pop turns pops off on it so yeah that's super cute pretty sure the drink bottles were about 25 bucks each 25 30 pretty expensive for a drink bottle but they're really good okay jackson we also picked him up some dragon ball z sum sum so he got a little piccolo sum sum and a little um goku sum sum so they're pretty cute pretty sure they were like five six dollars each from the jump store or something like that <coughs> We also got um, this little lucky cat. He's still in his box. This is for my nephew. All he wanted when we get away is to get a lucky cat. And surprisingly, these bloody things were hard to find. And I found this at the airport on our way home. So pretty stoked we got him a little lucky cat. Sorry, I'm just like looking around at all this stuff. We went to Universal Studios and I got myself a wand. Yes, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. And I got Luna Lovegood's wand. So I'll just take it out of its little fancy box. But that's what it looks like. It's like a petal, which I totally love. It's just nice and simple. It's beautiful. I love it. It was like 50 bucks. Um, but yeah, I'm never gonna be able to buy this anywhere else. So when I was going to Universal Studios, I told myself I had to get a wand. So I got that. Some random little things because I got Jackson those two Sum Sums. I got Lucy some Sum Sums from the Disney store. She got little Ariel and a uh, Stitch because she loves Ariel and she loves Stitch. So I got those. They were about six bucks each. Also got the kids a bunch of bath bombs. So they got these two as well as another one but my brother has those but i got them a pokemon one so they're bath bombs that have little toys in them my kids are obsessed so we got that one they got one each from the pokemon center then they got a sanrio one from the sanrio store and then jackson got a sonic one and lucy got a hello kitty one so they got three bath bombs each i'm pretty sure they were about four dollars each <laughs> oh my god Jackson his plushie that we got from the Pokemon store was Lycan Rock. I think that's the name of this Pokemon I'm only like OG Pokemon knowledge and fans so this is from Sun and Moon I'm pretty sure so I'm not exactly sure if I'm saying his name wrong I apologize let me know in the comments below if I'm right or wrong I think it's Lycan Rock or Rycan Rock or something like that um and I know there's a sun and moon version of him, but I'm not entirely sure. But yes, anyway, got that plushie for him because Lucy got the Pikachu. Jackson also got the figurine and also got the figurine of that wolf Pokemon. So that was also from the Pokemon Center. I'm not in focus. That was also from the Pokemon Center. I have no idea how much that was though. And it's out of its packet. Anyway, I also got the kids um, some Tommy cars. Japan are really like obsessed with these cars. They're like novelty cars. They go off like characters. Anyway, they're out of the box because the kids open them, but this is a Kylo Ren car. But that's what it looks like up close. And he also got a Po car. Yes, it says Po on it. This is a Po car. And that's what that looks like up close. So those were the two that Jackson got. Then Lucy got this um cat one it's a real lacuma one i don't know so that's what hers looks like it's like this little mini bus with a cat and then she also got this like whale one i have no idea what the character is but it has a snail on its back kind of looks like a whale i don't know if anyone out here then knows what this character is let me know i'm pretty sure it's some kind of senrio character but i thought it was cute so those two are Lucy's. Um, they were about $10 each. A bit pricey, but they're kind of cool. <coughs> um, from the Universal Studio store, I got this for Jackson to hang off his school bag. It's the Jaws Shark. He's super soft and cute. I kind of, I don't know, hadn't seen anything like it. Thought it was a bit original. It's got a Jaws tag on it. So that came from Universal Studio. So Jackson got that one. Lucy got a Hello Kitty one, pretty sure it's on her bag. Excuse her dirty, disgusting bag. But Lucy also got 
a Jaws keyring thing to hang on her bag, except hers is Hello Kitty in a Jaws outfit. Okay, sort of getting there, sort of not. See, we also got her a stuffed octopus from Don Tabori in Osaka. They're famous for their octopus balls, so we got her an octopus. She loves this, it's super soft. Ezra, because of course we couldn't forget Ezra. I only brought him one thing because he's five months old, but I got him this super cute fuzzy Totoro. So yeah, he's super cute. Pretty sure he was about $25. I think that was about 10. Don't quote me. Um, also picked up this ball game thing that you like. Whoa, catch the ball. Don't do that with that character on it. Luke picked this up from the airport for the kids. I have no idea how to do it. Okay, got Jackson a pair of chopsticks. Don't know where the other one is, but they are bullet train chopsticks. Okay, won't focus on it, but anyway, they're bullet train chopsticks. <coughs> um, because we, I brought him a whole bunch of Pokemon cards as well, because they're really cheap in Japan. I think they're like a dollar a packet, whereas they're like six bucks here in Australia. I brought him probably about 10 packets. He's already opened them. They're God knows where. But because we got quite a few, he got this like this rare like special card it's like holographic you can only get it at the pokemon center so that was kind of cool he got that i also got him a packet of dragon ball z cards i'm not gonna show them up close but yeah they're like all holographic pokemon dragon ball z cards apparently you can only get these in japan so my brother was telling me i don't know they're super hard to get i think it was 10 bucks for like 10 cards again kind of pricey but my brother says you can't get them anywhere else, so. Um, also got Jackson this badge. This is like the mascot of the Hakuba village guy. So I got him a badge to stick on his bag. Pretty sure that was only like a dollar. So I got him that. <coughs> now, I'm pretty sure that's all I got for the kids. I'm just going to randomly start pulling out stuff that I got because I got a lot of crap. So I got this Hello Kitty fuzzy headband. Ridiculous, I know, but when you're in Universal Studios or when you're in Disney, you always get ears. Universal Studios, I got these Hello Kitty kind of headband fluffy thing that I wore around and looked like an idiot. But yeah, it's kind of a cute memento. So I'm pretty sure that was only $10, $12, something like that. Okay. Also from the Universal Hello Kitty store. For some reason I got quite a few Hello Kitty items and I've never been a massive Hello Kitty fan, so it's a bit random. But I got this really cute Hello Kitty mug. It's such a nice size. And I don't know, I just kind of liked it. It screamed me. Look, I kind of match it too. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that was pretty cheap too. It was like 10 bucks. And yeah, I mean for Hello Kitty stuff, that's pretty cheap. Okay, okay. I got a whole bunch of these gachapons. If you don't know what gachapons are, they're pretty much like two, three dollar toy machines. You don't know what you're getting. So I've got maybe six or eight of these. So I'm thinking of maybe keeping them all together and doing a video on opening them. I also got some blind boxes, so I'm going to do that as well as these together. So stay tuned to that and you can see what are in these bad boys. But yeah, I got a bunch of those. <coughs> Apologies for the cough, people. Anyway, uh, we went to see the snow monkeys and I got this really cute kind of monkey sake bowl drinking game set. So they've got like little monkey faces. You get big bowl and you have like a little dice to play the game. They're all ceramic. Then you get like this medium sized bowl and then a big bowl. I won't pull it out because they've probably already messed it up already. Yep, the box won't close. Anyway, and it came in a really cute box. It's got monkeys. Um, pretty sure that was fairly expensive. It was about 30 bucks, but they're all ceramic and they're beautiful. And yeah, it's no monkeys. Okay, my camera battery died. So if the lighting and positioning has changed, that is why. And I have no idea where I was up to. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't get that many beauty products. So I kind of wanted to get a lot more. But to be honest, every time I walked into a chemist, I was just so overwhelmed. Like, there was just so much stuff and it was always super busy because they're like tax-free. Anyway, just super overwhelming. So I only got a couple of things. 
that was like my regret and not getting a Ravenclaw scarf from Universal Studios. Those were my two regrets. Anyway, but I did get myself this Sailor Moon um, eyelash curler. I don't have an eyelash curler. I've never used one, but I've always wanted one. I know, super weird. And it's the 25th anniversary. It's like a limited edition. It's super cute. So I have myself a Sailor Moon eyelash curler. Okay. Oh, um, with the cosmetic things, I got myself a perfect whip, like, face wash. Apparently, these are, like, this product's awesome. It's, like, the best-selling product in Japan. All of the kind of beauty gurus that go to Japan always get this stuff. I have no idea. I wish I could smell. My nose is pretty blocked. But it just kind of smells like cream but yeah i'll let you know how it goes but i got one ow i just like whacked myself in the head anyway i got one of those i think they're only like three bucks super cheap okay from the universal studio store holy crap i paid nine dollars for this pen you know when you go shopping and you don't like read the price of things anyway i got this gudetama universal studios pen it's legit the world's most expensive pen. It's not even that fancy. That's what it looks like. This bloody thing was $9. This better be a good pen. Anyway, got a pen. I also got a Hello Kitty Jaws like pass holder thing that like clips on your bag that says Universal Studios Japan. I loved this concept like the Hello Kitty Jaws collaboration type thing. I thought that was really cool. So I got that. How much was this? This was like 10 bucks. So that I can justify. $10 pen, I can't. <coughs> so this was the last of the kind of cosmetic things I got. I got a seven day Lululun um, face mask kit pack. So there's got seven masks in it. You use one each day and they're like in the zip tie thing. Pretty sure this is only about $3 as well. Again, I kind of heard really good things about these face masks. So just got the pink packet. I also got two kind of novelty face masks. I'm going to put one of these on during one of the upcoming vlogs. Sorry, my nose is itchy. So make sure you subscribe and tune into that because I think it's going to be pretty funny. They're like in the shape of Pokemon. So this one is a Pikachu. And then, of course, I got Bulbasaur. And that's what the mask looks like. So that's going to be pretty funny to do. These were, I think, like $4 each. These were pretty expensive. But it was kind of like a novelty thing. And they were kind of funny. <coughs> More, whoa. More Gatchapon, which we'll open later. Um, I also got myself a Ditto keyring from the Pokemon store. I got a Ditto Eevee keyring, like bag hanging thing um, last time. So this time I got a Ditto, so I'm going to hang that off my backpack. I don't know how much these were. I think they were around like the $8 mark, so I got that one. I got some blind boxes, which again I will open in the Gatchapon opening as well. But I got this... Um, the Kirby Remint one. Let's see if it will focus. So I got that blind box. Also got this Pikachu keychain one. And I also got this um, Pokemon kind of thingamajig. How do I explain it? T t no, Terrarium collection. Anyway, so I got three of those. You don't know what's in them. They're a surprise. I think these two were about $5 and this was like $8, a bit more expensive because it's bigger. So I will open those with... Bleh, I will open those with the Gatchapon. So look out for that video. Uh, while I was at the Pokemon Center, I also got another mug. So I got two mugs. I've got a thing for mugs. Um, I got this Pikachu cute Pokemon kind of limited edition. What's it for? I think it's for their 25th anniversary, but that's what it looks like. It's just white and black, super simple and cute. That was around $20, I think. So a little pricey for a mug, but it's Pokemon Center and it's limited edition. So I got myself that. More Gatchapon, guys. <laughs> and more coughing. 
Uh, I got myself a Hakuba Goiru sticker to stick on my car because that's where we went skiing and it's awesome and it was like a dollar so I got that sticker. I also got this hanging charm thing with that Hakuba mascot on it. To be honest, I was drunk this night, went out drinking, was a bit pissy and went shopping and brought a couple of random things and this was one of them. So I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. I'll like hang it up somewhere. It looks cool. Uh, went to the Disney store and I got myself a Stitch cosmetic bag. Uh, my makeup bag zip broke while we were away so I thought that was fitting. So I got Stitch one because I love Stitch. And I also got the matching Stitch and scrump i think its name is i forget his name uh like faith cloth bleh, face cloth to go in the makeup bag so that was about six dollars this was about 15 oh i just hit my head again so got those two now star wars some sums were 40 percent off at the disney store when we're in japan so i'm obsessed with star wars some sums i like some sums and i like star wars they're the only ones i really collect so I got these two little guys and I got these two little guys. So I'm pretty sure I got them for like $3.50 each, which is super cheap and I love them. So they will go with my Star Wars Sum Sum collection. And the last two things guys, actually no, because Luke got a couple of things. Um, I got myself some Sum Sum Star Wars cars, like Jackson's and Lucy's. Mine are still in the box. So I got... This is Yoda, and I'm pretty sure it's Luke Skywalker. So that's what they look like in the box. But I got a Sum Sum one. That's the first one. And then I got that one as well, which is Princess Leia, which is super cute. So they're going to be a cute addition to my collection. And the last couple of things, Luke got these ASIC shoes. Oh, I just, what is with me and hitting myself with all this stuff? I'm sick, guys. I'm sick. So you got these, like, fancy ASICs, fancy shoes. They were, like, $200, but cheaper over there than in Australia. So he got himself those. We also went to this little township, and they had their own independent um, sake brewery. It's like a boutique one, so we got a bottle of their sake, and that's what it looks like. To be honest, I don't like sake, I don't drink it, Luke does, so I brought it for him. I think it tastes like petrol. Um, it's not my thing, but Luke likes it, so I got him that, because he was skiing that day when we went on that day trip. And guys, I'm pretty sure that's it. That was a fair amount. I'm sorry this video went for ages. But I've probably forgotten a few little things that I just couldn't rustle up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You stuck it through. If you did, if you made it to the end, comment a little Japan flag or a little sushi roll. Because I miss it so much, guys. I'm having holiday withdrawals already. Like, I'm already secretly planning my next trip over there maybe we'll go there for our honeymoon i just love japan but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because the vlogs are coming up i'm going to do that gacha video the proposal video which is super awesome and romantic so make sure you look out for those and in the meantime have an awesome day and i'm going to catch you guys in the next video bye